All right, Gerald, congratulations. Welcome to the Chargers. Why was this the right fit for you? Just the potential that the offense offers and, you know, obviously the relationship with Coach Staley and I and him being with the Rams and knowing me as a player and as a person and watching me from afar. Obviously, he's a defensive minded guy, but, you know, just having that rapport and it kind of translated into the free agency period. Talk to me a little bit more about that relationship, because obviously he was the DC when you were with the Rams, yeah. you played tight end. But in talking with guys like Sebastian Joseph Day, mm -hmm. he knows everything about everyone. Mm -hmm. What was it like meeting him and sort of forming that bond when you were together? Well, I met him kind of briefly when he came and it was a good conversation. You know, he kind of gave me the background where he's from and, you know, his purpose of what he wanted to do, his intent with the Rams. And, you know, he wanted to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. So, you know, I immediately fell in love with the guy, and obviously I'm not a defensive player, so I had to watch him from afar as well. But, I mean, I can't say enough about him. Now he's a head coach, and, you know, I'm very proud of him, and even more proud to be a Charger now. That surprised you at all? No, it didn't. I mean, it seemed like everyone from that time was on the rise, so it's just, you know, it's no surprise to see him get that head coaching job. So in speaking to your path, you started at Hutchinson Community College. Mm -hmm. You go to UAB, the right. program gets canceled. Yeah. You end up at South Alabama, first player drafted from mm -hmm. there. Yeah. How did your path shape you into who you are, both as a person and a player today? Just showing that, you know, that's gonna be easy. And if it is easy, it's probably not worth having. So, you know, this business is very, very tough and very strenuous and mm -hmm. we as players and as people we have to show our commitment to it and it's definitely going to shape our lives you know we want to be more on the optimistic side and try to keep things rolling so that's what we're doing every year you've been in this league you've gotten better yeah. why is that just trying to be a better player a better person each year i mean just having the opportunity to do this and make a living out of it i think that it would be beneficial you know to make the most of the opportunities 2021 you had a career season mm -hmm. what do you attribute that to what was so different there just the culture, just the work ethic, day-to-day -day life, just wanting to succeed and thrive in everything that you do, you know, whether that be business or sports. And now coming back to LA, hopefully to, it's a bigger market, so hopefully, you know, we'll have more of an impact there too. In terms of you and your game, yards after the catch, mm -hmm. That's your game yeah. right there. Where does that prowess come from? I'm not even sure, honestly. It's just, <laughs> really? you know, growing up, playing with playing with your friends in the yard and, you know, playing park ball, it just mm -hmm. kind of translated. One of those things that I was able to retain, you know, growing and getting older and heavier and, you know, maturing more as an adult, you know, I'm thankful. Shaking, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. To coach here, Smith has time and complete to Gerald Emmer, the tight end spins out of the tackle. Everett running with a purpose all the way down to the two yard line. Talk about this offense a little bit. You mm -hmm. mentioned that was a huge reason why you decided to come here, but what really excites you about Fred? Herb, number one. Herb yeah. excites me. You know, he did some great things last year. Great player. Mike, you know, I have a, a brief relationship with him. Hope mm -hmm. he can improve and grow on that. Oh, as well as Keenan. Just, you know, the receivers that are already here and the weapons that they already have is just want to make a formidable offense or a formidable trio, rather, and just try to impact the team that way. What impresses you most about Justin Herbert? Uh, just his work ethic and just meeting the coaches and hearing stories about him. I can already kind of get a, a feel for him, and I just can't wait to meet him in person. We mentioned Sebastian Joseph Day, mm -hmm. obviously. He was with the Rams. Do you know him well back then? This a little bit of a reunion for you? I knew him. I didn't. I don't know him as much as I will know him eventually, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, watch him from afar, same as Coach Daly. But Sebastian Joseph Day lights up the room. Bright young guy, you know, is going to be a star in this league. And then lastly, the Twitter handle mm -hmm. has the word lightning in it. Right, right. A little full circle, feels right. a little fitting. It does, it does. Especially coming back to LA after a year. Um, you know, my Twitter handle was something that I made in college and it just seemed pretty catchy at the time. And I made it uh, essentially to kind of depict catching strikes. Mm -hmm. And I thought about lightning strikes and I thought that was pretty cool. So now I'm a bolt, you know, and lightning is the culture. So, you know, it makes sense. We're into it, congrats, Gerald. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate you. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.